When it comes to home improvements, there are very few things that are more requested more often than kitchen islands. Having a kitchen island can totally change the way you work in your kitchen, and in some cases, they can even add new functionality that you might not have had before. Because they're such a hot commodity in a lot of homes, having a kitchen island can even increase the value of your home if you decide to put it on the market. Thanks for joining me, Big Lloyd Dotson here. And if you're watching this, you're probably interested in a new kitchen and maybe asking what makes for a good kitchen island. Well, long gone are the days when a kitchen island was just an additional surface to set things on while working in the kitchen. So join me right after the break and I'll be sharing five things you need to know if you're thinking about installing a kitchen island of your own. We are back, so glad you've joined me again. So before the break, I was sharing what makes for a good kitchen island. So let's get right to it. There are a few things you could consider adding to your kitchen island to make it a modern, functional island. Number one, cooking surfaces. Many modern kitchen islands contain burners, full stove tops, or other cooking surfaces. Some even contain griddles or electric grills. Again, those things allow you to cook in different ways and give you more surfaces and heat sources to work with when you're fixing a large meal. Depending on the design of the kitchen island and the specific cooking surfaces, you can either give the island an electric connection or hook it up to an existing gas line. Number two, island appliances. Cooking surfaces aren't the only things that people include in kitchen islands. You might also see appliances such as ovens, mini refrigerators, or dishwashers included in the island as well. In some homes, you might see less common appliances, including a steamer oven, warming bin, or wine cooler. If there are electrical outlets built into the island, you might also include countertop appliances, such as a stand mixer, toaster, or can opener. Number three, kitchen prep areas. One common reason for installing a kitchen island is to add a prep station that is separate from other kitchen surfaces. This can involve adding things such as a small refrigerator to keep prepped items cold, some must-haves for a prep area also include a sink and some form of cutting surface. Ideally, the sink should be deep enough to wash vegetables and other food items and should have both hot and cold running water. The cutting surface can take different forms like butcher block, that's very popular, and have a rack for storage, cutting boards, and those things are very popular. Number four, additional storage. If there's one thing that almost every kitchen needs, it's more storage. A kitchen island can help with this, giving you a place to add additional drawers, shelves, or cabinets. Spice racks are a popular option to add. If you want to make the most use of your kitchen island space, you can also add a hanging rack above your kitchen island for pots, pans, or other cooking items. And finally, number five, stow under seating. Some people want to be able to use their kitchen island as a place to enjoy a quick meal, especially at breakfast or lunch. Stools or other small seating options, like you see on the, uh, this island, store under the kitchen island lip and can provide easy access seating that stores out of the way when not in use. A seating space can be added on top of other features, typically by letting the side of the island that faces away from the main kitchen, like you see here, used for seating while the interior facing side is more functional. So, ready to build your new kitchen island now? Well, my final piece of advice would be this. If you want to, make sure to find a professional to help you design and build your kitchen island or hook up your various fixtures. It's well worth it to work with someone who can help to make your dream kitchen island a reality. Alrighty folks, that's my big real estate tip for today. If you'd like to learn more educational information on buying and selling real estate, make sure to watch my other Just Ask Big videos. Or if you want to have me help you personally with the buying or selling of real estate, feel free to message me directly or you can contact me toll free at 833-ASK-BIG. That's 833-ASK-BIGG. For those that just want the digits, that's 833-275-2444. And last but not least, be sure to visit my website at bigresultsrealestate.com. Thanks for watching. That's our episode for today. I appreciate you joining me. And as always, remember to be bold and think big.